Welcome to Agron Infotech. It was requested to make improvements in the previous germination measurement Excel tool. This old version was able to calculate around 8 germination parameters with the limitation of entering 20 counts. In this advanced version some modifications were made by extending counts to 50 for germination data. Some new parameters were also added in this advanced Excel tool. These include, time taken to germination for 10%, 25%, 50%, 75%, and 90% germination. Time taken for 10 to 90% germination and 25% to 75% germination. Peak value for germination, mean daily germination and germination value. Relativized percent for germination was also added in this advanced tool. While rest of the parameters are the same as in previous old version. Now let's see how to enter data and get the results for germination measurements. First take a look at the data entry sheet. This sheet contains four different sections. TI section represents the time taken for each germination count. You can enter data up to 50 counts. NI section represents the number of seeds germinated in each count. Third section is treatment label section where you can enter treatment levels. Fourth section is number of seeds used in each experimental unit. I have a file that contains germination data for three levels of seed priming replicated four times and the number of counts were seven with the interval of 24 hours. First copy treatment labels and paste it in data entry sheet in respective section. Then copy data contain values for seed germinated in each count. Make sure you are not entering the cumulative values. Paste these values in NI section. Now enter time interval for each count days or hours. Here in this example the time interval is in days. Now you need to enter number of seeds used in each experimental unit in its respective column. After entering data, go the result sheet. Here you will find result for all respective germination measurements. Copy this result sheet values and paste it in new sheet. Now the data is ready for statistical analysis. Proceed with appropriate statistical technique and plot graphs if necessary. I hope this tutorial will be helpful for you. If you have any question feel free to ask. If you like this video hit a like and don't forget to subscribe this channel for more upcoming videos. Yeah.